All right, going to show you how Calvinists like to twist Ephesians 2, chapter 2, verse 8 to prove their false doctrine that man has no free will in the context of salvation. And like with all the other proof texts I've been showing, they're either taking it out of context or failing to compare scripture to scripture and cross-reference scripture or all three, pretty much. In most cases, they're doing all three. Because what they do is they, they isolate and cherry-pick verses to prove their Calvinistic doctrine. And Ephesians 2, 8 is one of the many verses they like using. So it says um, in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, says for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of god okay and they, they stop at verse eight well once again calvinists take this scripture out of context they ignore verse nine okay let's, let's read ephesians 2 8 and 9 let's see what let's see what it says there ephesians 2 8 and 9 for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of god not of works lest any man should boast so what's going on there well salvation is quote not of ourselves unquote like it says in ephesians 2 8 because it's not by our works but god's grace that's what's going on in the passage there. It's not saying that God chooses who gets saved or that mankind has no free will in the context of salvation. It's simply saying that the gift of salvation is provided by God, not earned by our own, our own works. Hence why it says not of ourselves. Okay. One more proof of this. Compare this with Romans chapter 3, verse 27 and 28. It says, Where is boasting then? Is it excluded by what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. If you're trying to save yourself by your works, you can boast. That's what Ephesians 2, 8, 9 is condemning there. Romans chapter 4, verse 4 to 5. Now to him that worketh not is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Good verse on, uh, in fact, verses 4 down to verse 12 and verse 20 to 25 of Romans 4 is a good, good text on imputed righteousness. But again, it's rehashing that you're not saved by your works, but rather God's righteousness. Titus chapter 3 verse 5 to 6 not by works of righteousness which we have done but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior so what's the point of Ephesians 2 8 9 it's showing that you don't save yourself by your works of self-righteousness it's God who provides salvation and by the way they, by the way I need to point this out as well it's the salvation that's the gift, not the faith. Because Calvinists will say that the faith is the gift, but God, he, pre he regenerates you and then he gives you faith. They have the cart before the horse. But it's salvation that's the gift, the free gift from God. Okay, Romans chapter 5, verse, uh, I think it's 15 down to verse 18, talks about the free gift of salvation. It talks about how it's a free gift. But the bottom line is, is that they're taking this passage out of context. And they think that when it says not of yourselves, it's meaning that basically God predestines and chooses you for salvation. No, the context is saying you're not saving yourself by your works. Otherwise, you could boast. So, once again, Calvinists take this scripture completely out of context and twist it, just like any cult does. So, don't, don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.